Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. Usually, I don't make a big deal about pack SBCs, but when EA drop one that's this good, we got to talk about it. And that we are going to do today, of course, also covering the leaks that we have right now for new icon cards coming to FIFA 23. It's that same design that we saw before, but there's a different description and an actual player leak now of an icon that might be getting a new card very soon, along with some brand new FC 24 heroes and a lot more about the market. Some prices are crashing right now, but it was expected. We're talking about a lot today, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you are new. EA's got the jokes, guys. They are having a laugh in objectives right now. Gianmarco Ferrari, that was a part of yesterday's content. Ferrari is his name. They gave him 99 pace. Honestly, I got to give it to EA. This is a W just for the laugh. 99 acceleration and sprint speed, and he's still lengthy. His base card is a rare silver, and it has... 49 pace or 50 pace. He's got a basically double pace upgrade from his normal card. Yeah, it's not the best card in the game, but I'm sure that he's wicked fast being 99 pace and lengthy. So that one might just be fun to have just because it's kind of crazy and something that EA have not done. Now we've had gift links and that card that have been sort of like banter and just fun. I don't mind it, right? It's really easy to get them done. I am a fan. Now we had our SBC yesterday, a player SBC, Jardin Shakiri. I think this card is actually a W, and it's very similar to my reasoning for the uh, my good review of the Kolomani price point. 5-star, five 5-star five Shakiri, 99 dribbling. If you guys remember, we talked about footies voting. The footies voting is actually taking place on EA's Instagram, so you might have missed it, but make sure you check it out there. I guess we're going to be seeing the voting there instead of on Twitter or in-game like it normally is, which is a bit underwhelming, and a lot more people miss it, but it is what it is. This Shakiri is coming in at 86,000 coins, also 86% upvoted. One thing about this card that's really interesting is is um, if you click on his item and look on Flippin at his body type, his body type is not unique. His body type is Shakiri. He has his own body type. He's five star, five star. Got the max dribbling because that's what the vote was for dribbling or shooting. Um, some of the shooting stats don't look the greatest, but 99 shot power and long shots. Uh, of course, with this great price. I mean, this guy is going to be really, really good in game for a cheap price. So I really don't have too much else to say here other than GG's EA, a nice SBC, and a decent price. Now, the SBC that we're talking about today that's actually worth doing. And guys, I don't recommend upgrade pack SBCs like this very often. But this 93 plus shapeshifters player pick that they dropped yesterday is amazing. They took away the team of the seasons and they upped the rating of this. Guys, 93 plus shapeshifters, if you think about the cards that are packable from this, uh, of course, this is, I'm saying this after I did the SBC yesterday and got somebody really cracked. If you go and take a look at shapeshifter cards that are packable, I mean, take out Orsolini, take out Alvarez, Toko Akami. And all the lower rated shapeshifters, the player pool that is available from this SBC is so small. There's not that many 93 plus shapeshifters, which is why this SBC is actually worth doing in my opinion. Whether you can get it done right away with the coins or the fodder that you have, or maybe if you have to craft a couple of days to get it done. Guys, the pack weight on this is actually really good because there's such a small player pool. Um, of shapeshifters that are 93 plus. So that's the big SBC. I, I'm kind of surprised that EA dropped it yesterday because it really has the feeling of like an end game SBC. We had people packing Yuris, we had people packing Pogba, and a lot of other great players like Klosterman was pretty common. Rudiger was in like every other player pick, which for an SBC, it's 240,000 coins. A 340,000 coin Rudiger is a dub. We opened a bunch on stream. I'll link above right here if you want to check out that video, additional video that we posted yesterday. Yesterday. Check that out before maybe you go do the SBC just to see how they look. I was lucky enough to somehow get Bruno Fernandez, uh, but we saw Mares popping up. We had a Joao Felix that we packed. Like, I mean, guys, the SBC is it's actually really, really good for the type of SBC that it is. It doesn't get too much better for an upgrade pack than that one right there. So it's going to be repeatable again on the weekend, but if you can get it done both times, I think it is worth doing, and the price isn't too bad, especially with all the fodder that we have right now able to get uh, through objectives and packs and stuff like that. So I don't want to ramble about this forever, but it's a WSBC, guys, and I can't believe that it's one that is really like a good value gamble, if you will, for the, what you can get from it. Now, speaking of fodder, since this SBC is very in demand and a lot of people are doing it, what's going up? Well, basically the entire fodder market, 82s are 1.4K, 83s are 2,000 coins, 
84s are 4K, 85s are 6,500 coins. Remember, these were like under 5,000 coins. They're rising. 86s were 6K. They're now 9,000 coins apiece. And your 87s, 88s, 89s, everything in terms of fodder is going up. Now, if you want to take the cash on some of this stuff before the weekend, I think it's not a bad idea to do so, right? 88s yesterday going from 14, 15K up to about 17, where most of them are now 16 and 17K. Not a bad idea to take the cash on some of your gold fodder because once again, what is our biggest source of supply every week? It's the weekend, right? Weekendly rewards, those tradable rewards, they get paid out with the packs and stuff like that. That's when you see the most supply. Also, lightning round packs that people are still opening at this stage of the game. So if you want to take the cash, especially on the golds, guys, on the golds, 83s, 84s, 85s, Today might not be a bad day to go ahead and do that. That way, you're not stuck holding on to cards that could go down a little bit this weekend. Uh, and we'll also look to potentially invest in those later on this weekend as well. Now, since we're on the topic of the market, guys, we got to talk about something that we knew was coming. But now that it's here, and every time you see prices crashing a lot, it's pretty crazy. Can we take a look at Level Up Team 2 cards? Because last night, they were a lot more expensive than what they are right now, and they are dropping heading into today on Thursday. Rafael Varane was still 5 million coins yesterday. He is now 4.1 million. Goretzka was still 1.2, 1.3 mil, and this mad lad is under 900k he's about to go under 800k he's 830 and still dropping as i'm recording this video guys there's going to be some fluctuations on these if you want to try to time it uh you can probably try to do that today on thursday and you'll probably have an opportunity just like there was yesterday with the maintenance and stuff going on stuff got low before maintenance 4.6 for veron he went back to 5.1 uh, i think the better flip was chameni he went from like 600k to 770 but man look how low some of these guys are goretzka as we just looked at was 830k and it's probably just going to keep getting worse guys i mean goretzka was 1.06 went to 1.3 and has literally just been dropping through the evening hours wednesday into today on thursday and it's going to get worse today, guys, apart from maybe a fluctuation. So keep an eye on a couple of these for a bounce back early in the morning hours. But other than that, we're getting near the end for these level ups. And of course, near the end of people trying to grind these games out and their prices are going to drop down a lot. And we are going to be very interested, especially keeping an eye on the minimum price for these cards. Remember what happened with Team 1? A lot of those guys got to their minimum price and they started going up from there. The minimum price for Chalmany, we're not that close yet. Chalmany's minimum price is 100k. Will he get there? I'm not trying to say he will, but just kind of look through this team and maybe get an idea of what cards are close to their minimum. Darwin Nunez, 43k, he's at 120k. He's not that far from his minimum, to be completely honest. Martinelli, 139. He's at 690. He's still a good ways away. Keep some of that in mind, because as we get towards later today, tomorrow and Friday, there's going to be a lot of panic selling, and those cards are, uh, are going to keep dropping off, but they could potentially rebound, as we saw Team 1 do. So we're going to keep watching out for that. Now, speaking of the market as well, we talked at length in yesterday's, yesterday's video about Team of the Weeks and Team of the Seasons. Now, I'm happy to report that Team of the Week cards are on their way up as a lot of the demand is still there for these but the supply is kind of going away right that team of the week repeatable uh tradable pack that we talked about in yesterday's video is going away today and there's still a demand that is out there right now for all the SBCs requiring team of the weeks and team of the seasons now today is the big decision day and today is the massive day for these SBCs will EA refresh them or will they go away and not come back? That's going to be one of the things we check today at content to see what EA do with this. If these SBCs don't come back today, then I think there might be an opportunity for us to buy some Team of the Week cards if there's still 24,000 coins. That might not be a bad thing to do uh, because they could continue to go up higher as TOTS cards are a lot higher than that. And Team of the Weeks and Team of the uh, Seasons are often required both as a part of some SBCs. So I'm watching those today. That'll be a spur of the moment decision we probably make around content. But if the SBCs come back then we're going to hold off and we're going to wait so a lot of that decision making is going to be made at content today come into the stream if you want to check that out we'll be watching that very closely because guys like we mentioned there's so much demand right now in sbcs a lot of people are doing those sbcs that require team in the weeks and team of the seasons and if there is no other tradable supply than those sbcs and those sbcs are going away then these cards are going to go 
up. So we're going to keep a close eye on that today. Of course, team of the seasons will still be packed tradable this weekend from the 14 win and above packs in weekend league. There'll be a little bit of supply there for them, but with team of the weeks, it's really starting to get interesting. I picked up a couple of like 87, 88 rated team of the weeks at 22, 23 K. If you can still get those on snipes, I think that's good. If the SBCs do refresh today though, then we're probably not going to buy anything because those prices will probably drop a bit more into Friday and into Saturday. So that's kind of a roundup with what's going on with that side of the market since we talked about it at length yesterday. And then also guys, we got to get into the big news. The best, uh, not even the best, but kind of the number one leak that we have right now it revolves around icons, and you may have seen this. We talked about it in yesterday's stream as well. That car design that was added a couple days back called the end of an era icon. Well, Foot Scoreboard tweeted again yesterday and said that this icon card now has a new description and a new name. It is called the Cover Star Icon, and given that design, um, basically is going to relate to players that were on old covers of FIFA uh, games in the previous number of years, right? So you had a lot of opportunities for players like Dino, uh, Thierry Henry, Del Piero from the FIFA 2004 uh, cover. And that's what we think this is gonna be kind of attributed to. And it kind of goes along with the leak that he posted a couple of hours later. Right now, our only leaked cover star icon, which I guess cover star icon is the new description and the new name of this car design. It's Roberto Carlos directly from the FIFA 2003 cover, which is kind of a letdown if you think about it we were hoping for like zlatan we were hoping for some of those guys maybe like ribery to be in one of these icon cards probably our expectations got a little bit too high a little bit too fast but of course uh, you know when ea add a card design called the end, end of an era icon well what do you expect us to think you know but regardless of the point this is a card that's going to be coming to this game soon and i keep checking on the menus here i keep checking to see if we have this card design uh, there's nothing in here that says cover icon i go through all the designs i don't see it just yet i don't know when this is dropping guys um i also don't know if it's an sbc or if they're actually going to include this card in packs i mean technically this roberto carlos could be an sbc which i think would be the the better way to do it but it also could be in packs with the footies team two that's going to be coming out on friday so that's really unknown about what this is going to look like and again these are not confirmed stats i'm pretty sure these are predicted stats um and i mean that's the kind of card we need though for roberto carlos at this stage of the game he's got to get above 90 defense 90 physical he needs to maintain the five star skills that this trophy titans has and probably get a four star at least weak foot as well i think roberto carlos is going to be a nice icon card i just really hope that ea make that an SBC in the spirit of footies and all that right now uh, that would be great. So that's kind of what's going on there. That was the only leak that we really have. Now, this is not a leak. This is confirmed info. We have five more heroes. Kessler, Julie, Rosicki, Kanu, and Risa. I'm struggling with that name. I got to work on that one a little bit. The thing that I noticed here about these brand new heroes, five more. Maybe EA is releasing five a day. I'm not entirely sure. Lower ratings, uh, 88, 88, 87, 87. And of course, uh, Kessler being the one that is 90 rated. She is the highest out of this released batch from yesterday. Um, I mean, a lot of these guys to me probably are going to end up being fodder depending on their stats. But think about other lower rated heroes that we have. I mean, these are 87 rated hero cards that are going to be their second and upgraded version. I mean, my mind goes right away. I keep saying this guy when I think about heroes, but most of it, right? He's 86 rated and usable for the first month or two on the game, but then pretty much fodder after that. That's how it looks to me for Kanu. Maybe Rosicky, maybe he'll be a little bit better, but I just worry a little bit about some of those heroes and what their base items are going to be like. But those are some new names. So it is at least exciting to see new heroes added and uh, new players to be using in this next EAFC 24 game so maybe watch out for more today as we'll get more information as EA seem to be just slowly rolling out those hero releases now talking about today on Thursday let's cover content right what do we expect in today of course Thursdays always bring us the marquee matchups now under the challenge tab once again if you have not done this throwback marquee matchups make sure you get that one done because that is of course tied to the XP that is in the footies week one uh footies week one xp bracket right it is this marquee matchups sbc in there um i think you have to do that one to get this xp i'm not entirely sure but we should be getting another throwback marquee matchups today which would then count for probably more xp released tomorrow i'm not sure if we're getting xp today i think it would be tomorrow um but that marquee matchups kind of ties in there so i would expect to see that today 
And then anything else other than that would maybe be a little bit of a surprise to me. I mean, maybe the Roberto Carlos is supposed to be a part of today. Maybe it's not. Maybe we have one last Thursday SBC for a footies player to round out week one. And maybe we have a loading screen to kind of, and I guess, give us some details and news about who's going to be in packs next. Because as you can see here, guys, and a lot of you guys commented in yesterday's video again, I mean, EA does not do a great job of talking about this, but the best of cards, Ronaldinho, the team of your icons, all the Centurions and Winter Wild cards, you're getting pretty annoying to pack. Those guys are in packs for another week. Yes, those guys are not going out of packs, but Ronaldo, Alvarez, Joe Gomez, and all of those guys that are in packs right now, they are going out of packs, and we're probably going to have new footies cards in packs tomorrow and Friday, so maybe a loading screen, maybe some leaks to talk about that uh, today. So we'll be looking at all of that. It might be a slower day today. You guys kind of know how Thursdays go, but maybe EA will drop something like a Ferrari and objectives like they did yesterday to spice it up a little bit. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Accountant. See you guys later. Peace.